Named as one of the best airports in the entire world, surpassing even Singapore's Changi Airport in Skytrax's Best Airport of 2020, Tokyo Hinata International Airport bridges the gap between Japan's culture and the rest of the world. One reason why Hinata Airport had gotten its way to becoming one of the best is that it doesn't feel like an airport. Its interior facilities comprise historical culture spanning hundreds of years ago, along with a traditional street market to complement the uniqueness the airport offers. It is even noted that Tokyo Hanada International Airport is the most punctual airport in the entire world, meaning that, on average, this is the airport where you won't have to worry about your flight getting delayed. Quite an amazing feat, even though it is one of the busiest airports in the world, accommodating over 85 million passengers before COVID hit in 2019. So how did Japan construct one of the best airports in the entire world? Well, to know that, we must first go back to when it was just a tiny airport. Previously, Hanada Airport wasn't what people would have expected it to be. It was first opened way back in 1931, and it was just called Hanada Airfield. It was built on 53 hectare reclaimed land and was mainly used to travel just between Japan and the other countries that it previously ruled on. With passenger and freight traffic growing rapidly after its year of inception, it has seen the need to increase its capacity. With its location being so strategic and becoming more of a necessity not just for commercial use but also for the use during the war by the Imperial Japanese Army in flight training, it has expanded its size by over 72.8 hectares. Come the late 1940s till the early 1950s, when the war has ended, the airport was occupied by another world superpower back then, and it was the United States and its allies. Being occupied by external countries, some have seen it as a bad thing. Why? Because nobody wants another country ruling over their own airport. However, this is actually not the case for the Hanada Airfield, or renamed as during that time as Hanada Army Air Base. With the occupation, it has actually benefited greatly, as the airport has seen a vast expansion with its airport and facilities. At one point, they even had to evict 3,000 residents living near it to make way for its construction. This occupation by the Allied forces has also not only paved the way for improving its infrastructure, but has also opened its international commercial use with flights coming from various countries around. From 1952 to 1958, the forces occupying it have given the entire airport back piece by piece to its rightful owner, which eventually has finally become the Tokyo International Airport. This would pave the way for the construction of its first passenger terminal building. In the following years, the country of Japan had seen continuous demand for its international freight and passenger flights and would pave the way for a stronger economic rebound after the damages the war had done. By 1964, the airport was finally connected to its rail system, which was in the same year the Tokyo Olympics had taken place. With this approach, however, the Tokyo International Airport had seen strong passenger traffic both among its citizens and international flyers. This decade marked serious concerns for the government of Japan, as not only had it seen strong traffic but also the introduction of bigger planes needing accommodating within its facilities. At first, they had planned on expanding the Hanada Airport, however, they had seen that even if they had expanded the airport, it would still be insufficient for the years to come, and would operate at only a limited capacity. Hence, they came with a fresh approach, an approach that would not expand the airport but open a newer and better airport, one that would be mainly used for international flights and would downgrade the Hanada Airport into more of domestic use. By 1978, it has opened the Narita Airport, or what is more commonly known as the Narita International Airport. This airport would finally help the traffic the country was facing and position itself with the future demands to come. With Japan being such a beautiful country to visit, from its culture, unique fashion style and cars, it had assuredly got the eyes of people from around the world. Hinata Airport's next big expansion came in the year 1993, when it opened Terminal No. 1 called the Big Bird. Quite a cool name for an airport. This would replace the older terminal that was built way back then, and this newer Big Bird would comprise several world-class entertainments and leisure activities. From its control tower design to a six-story restaurant and even a rooftop observation deck that comes with an open-air cafe to see the beauty of airplanes coming in and out definitely brought Hanada Airport to another level. By 2004, it had opened yet another terminal, which would be its second terminal, and just like the first, it would have its own unique facilities constructed within it. This time, Terminal 2 would be constructed with a 387-room hotel. 
With the country of Japan finally coming to the world stage to help cater to the demand of people coming in and out of its country, it has seen the inevitable need for expansion of its airport. But this time, unlike the other two terminals, it would create a terminal that would specifically be used for international flights with some small exceptions to domestic use, making Hanada Airport Terminal 3 spanning over 159,000 square meters. It poses a strong entrance to higher passenger traffic. With its Terminal 3 being the final huge extension it had done thus far, it would still be probable that we will see a bigger one with global tourism's continuous rise. Although just like every airport, this had suffered greatly because of the COVID-19 pandemic, where its 2020 passenger statistics shrinking to only 30 million passengers. Aside from adding a new terminal, it had continuously expanded the current ones. As of its 2018 expansion, the Tokyo International Airport can handle a capacity of over 90 million passengers annually. Its expansion for its international departures in Terminal 2 had also been noted as the beauty that came out of this world. Tokyo Hanada Airport had quite a history to tell, from going through the war all the way to closing and opening its international flights. But what we still haven't told you is just how did this airport win the second best airport award of 2021 by Skytrax? It even surpassed Singapore's Changi Airport and just behind Doha's Hamad International Airport. Well, aside from what we have already mentioned, our opinion is how it presents its unique architecture to the world, specifically in its outstanding dining areas. One of them even has a planetarium-themed cafe where you would sit and have a coffee while watching 40 million stars. Even the vending machines are unique themselves, although it is known that Japan has a lot of them. However, the ones at Hanada Airport present more unique findings. Although this is just one of the few dining areas it has that we have chosen, but it has a lot more vast options inside. Its culture is well constructed within the airport. It even reconstructed one of its symbolic bridges called the Hanada Nihonbashi Bridge, which was known since 1603. Edo Koji, yet another culture design place to go to, stands out, especially in the modern world and in a modern airport. Tokyo International Airport has not just won the Best Airport Award, but several more, notably being the cleanest airport in the world. With Japan's emphasis on strong cleanliness standards, it has helped the airport win above all others. To combine to that, Japan's importance of being punctual impacted how it operated its airports and helped earn it the most punctual airport in the world. To top it off, we have researched several review sites, and the most notable answer we got is how they got their customer service to top quality like no other. Anyway, what do you think about the Tokyo International Airport? Did you learn something new today? Or was there something that we missed on? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.